Oh, I got carried away yesterday, didn't I? Hey, my name is Jim Sunderworth from The Swing. So good to be with you. And we're just talking about the, uh, another fabulous story. Uh, and it's not a story. I mean, it is a story, but but it's life. It's 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 something that we can sink our teeth in and know that if he, God's no respecter of person. If he calls you to, into a ministry, he's going to do for you what he did for Moses, even though Moses realized that really... He, he he went from somebody to nobody, and now he's getting on, getting ready to see what God can do with somebody that found out he was nobody. We talked about that the other day. Anyway, excuse me, got kind of excited. Anyway, um, here's the thing. Um, I talked to you, to you yesterday about the rod. We said, "What's in your hand?" And we said, "Well, it was it was a rod, a rod staff." But but you got to realize that shepherds in that day. Um, when they were out there in, in the field or, or, or very significant moments in their life, they would notch that to some degree so that it reminded them of that event. Some notch here, notch there, this and that. And so these, the staff, uh, this rod, that he, the staff that he had, basically had his life story in it. And he would look at that and he could remember when he got married. Well, he maybe remember, oh, that's when I met my wife. Uh, this is when our first children came. Um, oh, this is when I was out uh, with the with the sheep and a bear came. Or this is when I tripped and fell and I thought I broke my arm. I mean, all the way down through. And then the history of his life, he would n notch it in there because he had time as he's watching. He just notch it in there and because he wanted to remember. Um, that's a good thing to remember the blessings remember the times when God came through remember and so he had it all notched up and God and God said now look lay it down lay all that down and 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 it and all of a sudden like I said yesterday a, a snake happened and then he said now pick it back up and he picked it back up and when he picked it back up he picked about all those experiences now filtered through God's love filtered through God's purpose, filtered through all of it. You know, it's, you know, the Bible says that broad is the way that leads to destruction. Narrow is the way that leads to life and eternal life. You know, a lot of people, they don't understand this. When you come to Jesus, you, you, you have all your experiences, all the experiences in your life. This is how you've learned. This is this is building your character. This is building this, and you have your talent. And you've had your uh, what you've learned to uh, how you've learned to make your money or uh, have a relationship with people. All these things are built, and then you bring them to Jesus. But as you go through the gate, Jesus, it's it's almost like a stripping gate. It it kind of strips all that stuff away, and nothing goes through that gate. You lay all your past behind you. You lay it there, and you say, Lord. Uh, not my will, but thy will be done from this moment on. And you go through that gate and you stand there just saying, Lord, here's my life. Use it for your glory. Here's my staff. Here's all my experiences. I, I give it all to you. And when he gives those experiences back to you, you see him filtered in a different way. You see him filtered from a God that loved you, allowed that to happen because it brought you to this position. It, I mean, you get your life back in such a way that, that you, you learned that you don't get your value from what you did, but now you get your value from him, and then he gets to bless you with everything you need. Seek first his life, his kingdom, and all things will be added, not to bring glory to you, but to bring glory to him. And then he can sit back and he can take you as high as he wants to take you. He can take you anywhere he wants to take you as long as you don't touch the fact that the, the glory of God. That you don't touch the fact that it's because of you. No, it's not because of you. It's because of him in you that's caused this. And that's what we've talked about many times, about we can walk with humility but with great confidence. That's the joy of serving God. That's the joy of, of getting greater and greater. He says the, the path of the righteous grow brighter and brighter to the full light of day. But the path of the wicked, the broad, the broad way gets more narrow and more narrow and more darker and darker and darker until they stumble and know not why. Because, you see, uh, the self-life will be pretty empty and bring you to... Um, you know, uh, pretty desperate end. But God's life, when you go through that, it grows greater and greater and greater, greater, more light into you. Come into the eternal life and the presence of God forever. Wow.
That's exciting to me. It's exciting to know that my life, as that shepherd, as, as Moses laid down that, that staff and laid down all of his past experiences, and then God brought him back and anointed him and gave him wisdom beyond his wisdom, wisdom ability to walk in his favor, walk in humility, and honor God. He found life. Wow. That's what it's all about. Just letting God get glory. And you lift him up there like that, and you're only an arm's length away. Everywhere he goes, you get to go with him. That's exciting. Wow, I'll talk to you tomorrow, okay?